Greetings, greetings, greetings to you all. Hello, everybody. Hallelujah. It is good to be with you again for In Conversation with Pastor Maureen. And Pastor Colin. Hallelujah. We are back yes. with you again. Amen. Amen. We love these conversations. We love sharing the word. Amen. We pray that you have been getting much from these uh, sessions amen because we've been thoroughly enjoying them we have glory be to god we still haven't heard from anybody as yet mm. but i He's know very coy but i, I know <laughs> that uh, at some point we will all the information our contact details are at the end of the broadcast so you can pick up our email address from there uh, to uh, share with us and uh, share a word of encouragement or thought or what the lord has been doing for you that we can share this on this program amen. amen praise be to god well before we do anything else pastor maureen is going to pray holy father we just give you praise we bless your name and we worship you thank you for this privilege that we can be gathered in conversation today colin and myself sharing your word i pray that the holy spirit will inspire us about what we share and how we look into your word give us insights and revelation we're looking for revelationary knowledge lord mm. and we pray that you will just touch into that and reveal to us your heart yes. reveal to us the deep depths of your word yes. so that we can uncover things that we probably hadn't even thought about mm. that the holy spirit will bring to our minds we lay our minds open to the holy spirit for him to flow through we lay our lips open for him to speak through yes, we lord. want to speak as the oracles of god Amen. and so father we pray that you will bless this session now may it be in inspirational may it be an edify, edifying to all who hear it yes. in jesus name amen 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. well pastor Moore, we are back again we amen are, hallelujah are. for another time of uh chatting yeah sharing the sharing word and the the teaching and we just bless the lord yes, for this day amen. amen now the last time that we were together we started talking about believe what the bible says yes. and not what your senses tell you well that's right that's Amen. right didn't we say i don't remember if we actually spoke mm. about this but the, the devil mm. dwells in the sense mm. realm that's where he wants to keep us he yeah. wants to keep us as human beings mm. in the sense realm god wants us to move out of the sense realm into the realm of the supernatural that's right. That's right. that when we are born again we are spirit beings mm. when man is a spirit being man is spirit soul and body yeah. and god wants us once we have become born again to dwell from the spiritual side and not to dwell from the sense realm that's right. and that's what he's trying that's what he tries to teach us yeah. that's what the word of god is about teaching us how to move mm. from one realm to another and to operate in the realm where he is yeah and, and i think it's all about it's all about divine revelation yes. it's all about receiving divine revelation mm. and not allowing ourselves to to, to just have head knowledge yes. but revelation knowledge yeah. amen yeah. and that's very very key i know mm. we've learned a lot about this but but it's that it's that balance yeah. we've got yeah. to get the balance right yeah. And, yeah. and i think when we when we spoke together uh, the last time we we, we ended with the confession mm. which we were saying that i believe what the bible says mm. and not what i see with my natural eyes yes. or hear with my natural ears yes. i look beyond the natural natural mm. my ears are attentive to what god says yes and i believe that's where we need to be that mm. our ears need to be attentive to what god says yes and this is very important so our faith should be based on what god says yes. amen yes. and you know god will obviously sometimes he will send people along your way mm. and we need to believe his servants mm. the bible tells us we have to believe uh, the prophets as well mm. you know and uh, and god gives us discernment to be able to do that mm. i'll yeah. tell you something mm. um i was just thinking about sense knowledge and mm. and um and revelation, revelation knowledge, yeah. knowledge. Yeah. Um, and i remember this is something that this is a concept that we came across years mm. ago and i remember hearing people talking about sense knowledge mm. and, and revelation knowledge and thinking to myself oh i'd really like to be able to do mm. both to be able to to know things because i, I was so impressed by hearing when people were, were teaching or preaching that they mm. bring in all this this knowledge 
and then at the same time they would they would um, back it up with spiritual That's knowledge, right. re uh, revelation yeah. from the spirit. And That's I thought, right. wow, what a wonderful mm. place to be at. But God be praised. Mm. I believe that's happened to us, mm. Pastor Colin, mm. because now the Lord has been teaching us. We've been mm. getting knowledge. And so we get knowledge yeah. from the sense realm. Mm. We look into the various things. We look into right. the various commentaries and mm. we look into the Greek and the Hebrew. Yeah. There's information that we have that we can tap into. We haven't actually learned that, mm. but we have access to information that that's can right. give us that kind of knowledge and we've linked up with different people so mm. our knowledge base has greatly increased but not only that mm. because we have a, a, um, a relationship with the Holy Spirit mm. the Holy Spirit enlightens us he's with us in our studies mm. I was saying to you the other day mm. that when I whenever I sit down mm. to do my studies yeah. I ask the Holy Spirit I say Holy Spirit I welcome you take a chair sit down with me That's we're right. gonna do this together we're partnering together I want you to tell me what you want mm. me to guide me and direct me mm. So we work with the Holy Spirit mm. and the Holy Spirit enlightens us. He tells us what to do, tells us what to write. Mm. And not only that, he's the one that tells us what knowledge to get mm. from the sense realm. Yeah. Oftentimes he'll say to you, look up this scripture, mm. look up that, look up this information. Mm. He will say, research so and so. Mm. And then he will tell you what to look mm. into to bring that element into mm. you and then to back it up mm. with the revelation. So even mm. though we have our senses, we have the spiritual and that and that's a, a walk of faith isn't it well, is because you have to depend upon the yeah. holy spirit to lead you into all truth yeah. but it is a walk of faith because you know you're moving from one but as we spoke both about earlier you're mm. moving from one realm to another yes. and this is your sixth sense mm. because we know that we depend on our five senses yes. which we need obviously mm. to taste mm. to see to smell to hear yes. and so on mm. but we need that sixth sense, mm. the sixth sense which takes us to the realm of the Spirit, yes. where we are hearing from the Spirit mm. of God, because mm. the Spirit of God only brings the things of God to us. That's right. And so we do need to move from one realm to mm. another, and I believe that's God's ideal for, of for, for all of us, yeah. that, we, that we, we allow ourselves to be led mm. and governed by, by the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And so here, here is where we actually get our greatest revelation mm. and we begin to grow in grace mm. and in the knowledge of our Saviour Jesus That's Christ. Right. It That's brings right. us into the truth of God's word. Amen. And so we need to choose. We, we, we can choose to believe or choose not to That's believe. Right. That's the choice that we have. Amen. 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 But remember, faith comes by hearing and, and hearing, hearing by, by the, the word, word of God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we went on and we were taught, I'm telling you, this is so rich. We went, when we when we develop our faith to the place where we truly believe what God's word says, mm. irrespective of the circumstances yes. and the physical symptoms, then we are believing the right thing and that's what brings results. And so I think this is what we're, we're talking about here. How It's about taking our minds off of our circumstances, off of our situations, off of what's worrying us, what's mm. where the anxieties are coming. And it's stepping into the realm of the Spirit yeah. so that the Spirit now can revive you, mm. amen. Yeah. And the Spirit can take you to a different level, yeah. give you a new way of thinking, yeah. A new thought pattern, yeah. amen, that your mindset is now not where in the realm of the of, of all the issues and everything mm. that's going on, mm. but you're now in the realm of the spirit. That's right. You know, you mean that's a very key word that you mentioned mm. earlier on. And so we know that God is at his best when your faith does not waver yeah. because a double-minded man is unstable. is unstable in all his ways that's mm. what james tells us that's right. and so we when we looked at the scripture when, when we were speaking about thomas in mm. john 20 mm. and it says thomas said i will not believe until i see mm. and many people are like that yeah. and jesus said thomas because thou hast seen me thou hast believed mm. blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believe that's right well now, that i mean right there yeah, exactly that tells you exactly how jesus sees it, it tells Come you how, how god sees things Amen. god wants us to learn mm. to do to, to believe without having the proof come on you know in this in the physical realm that's right. and some people i think we mentioned this last mm. week that there are people mm. who because the world oftentimes demands tr proof maybe they talk to people mm. they talk to their friends they talk to their yeah. and so therefore they develop an idea that yeah. they that it's in inferior yeah, if you yeah. cannot possibly uh, show any proof to mm. what you're saying and so those people if you listen to a lot of the people from the world you spend your time in a 
in the company mm. of those people, yeah. you, their, their thinking will influence mm. you. It will rub off on you. Right. And unwittingly, you become an advocate for that way of thinking. Right. Rather than being an advocate for the things of God, mm. you become an advocate for the things of the enemy. Right. You become a devil's advocate. Yeah. That's what they call it, isn't it? Yeah, devil's devil's advocate. Advocate. Yeah. You become yeah. a devil's advocate. Yeah. You become doubtful. Mm. You think that you are superior to those mm. who do who believe God mm. because that's what the world thinks. Mm. Your thinking has not been converted mm. to see things from the supernatural mm. because you haven't spent that much time with God. But I think we talked about this, not necessarily on, mm. on this program, but mm. maybe on another program. But when you have a relationship mm. with, or in fact, if you have a relationship with anybody, mm. this goes for God, it goes for anyone. Mm. You spend a lot of time in that person's right. company. Mm. After a while, their thinking will mm. begin to permeate into mm. you. Sometimes the things that they say, you pick up those mm. sayings. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. You start, It's not because you're actually trying to do mm. it, but because of the relationship, it mm. starts to rub off on you mm. and unwittingly you start to pick up that person's way mm. you start to pick up that person's mm. sense there's a person a friend uh, well not a friend she's not a friend uh, but Billy Brim is somebody that mm. I listen to a lot mm. and she has a funny way of kind of making some funny little noises but I've noticed mm. other ministers mm. <laughs> and when I'm listening to other ministers I know that she goes to the same meetings mm. as other ministers and sometimes I hear them making the same little noise mm. I hear her children mm. doing the same little noise mm. I say oh my goodness they picked this up in Billy Brim and that's exactly mm. what happens because of a relationship and the, the mm. time and the company that you spend on you pick up yeah. their ways you pick up their say mm. you pick up their way of thinking mm. and it's the same thing with god mm. you spend a lot of time in the company of the most high mm. you spend a lot of time in the word mm. of god mm. the word of god will begin to shape your thinking mm. because the word of god is god's thoughts mm. it's god's ideas mm. it's god's way of looking at things mm. and so if you spend a lot of time there it permeates into your consciousness mm. and you start thinking like the word mm. but uh, but that's how that's how relationships are formed yeah. the relationship you you learn from each other yeah you know when when a couple comes together the husband learns from the wife and mm. the wife learns from the husband mm. when you come together with god and mm. you get into his word yeah. you're learning from god yes. you're drawing from the substance that's of his right. power as you, right. as you rightly say and you know so those who actually believe what the word of God says apart from what they see or feel mm. with their physical senses are the ones who are blessed mm. that's what we've learned and that's what exactly what mm. you're saying it's mm. it's really about that it is. that when you are focused on the things of yeah. God you are the one that is blessed this is where God is at his best in our lives yes. because we are focused on what he says yes. amen and I believe that's you know that, that takes us warmly now into our good friend which I know that you've been talking about on, on the Sunday when you spoke, when you've been speaking about um, standing on the promises of God, mm. I know we're going more deeper with that in in that when, on, on the Sunday. But I'm telling you that listening to Abraham, I love reading about Abraham, mm. Abraham, Abraham, mm. and his life mm. and his journey. Yes. And there was some what thing, a journey! What a journey oh that he's goodness. been on! What a journey! But but I want to pick up on a few things mm. here from the Book of Romans because Paul has a wonderful way of writing. Yes. And I want us to look at Romans chapter four. Mm -hmm. and verse 3 yeah. and some other verses in the, in the scripture mm -hmm. but here's what Romans 4 and verse 3 this is from the Amplified okay. for what does the scripture say Abraham believed in trusted in God and it was credited to his account mm. as righteousness mm. right living and right standing with God well right there you learn something don't you we all have an account yes we have an account with God, Hallelujah. and some things are credited and some things are debited. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but it's true. But look at, but it, look at what it says. Abraham believed in, mm. trusted in yes. God. Yes. Now he believed in the thing, even yes. though he did not see it, yes. but yet he believed yes. in, trusted in God, yes. Yes. and it was credited to his account as righteousness. Yes. In other words, right living and right standing, standing with. with God. God. Well, this shows you something, doesn't it? Mm. When you believe and you trust what God says without any other proof other than the fact that he said it. That's right. You, it puts you in right standing, standing with, with God. It puts you in right yeah. standing with God. And that's clear, isn't it? Praise Very clear. God. Hallelujah. But when we now go down to verse 16 to 21 mm. of the same Romans 4, it says, Therefore, inheriting the promise is the outcome of faith 
and depends entirely on faith mm. in order that it might be given as an act of grace mm. unmerited favor yeah. to make it stable and valid and guaranteed to all his descendants not only to the devotees and the adherents of the law mm. but also to those who share the faith of abraham who is thus the father of us all mm. isn't that wonderful yes, it, is. it says as it is written i have made you the father of many nations yes. he was appointed our father in the sight of god in whom we believe he yes. believed Remember, he said, what does it say? In whom he, he believed, believed. Yeah. amen, yeah. Who, who gives life to the dead and speaks of the non-existent things that he has foretold and promised as if they already, already existed. existed. Abraham did not see many things when God spoke to no, him. No. He did not know what lied ahead of him, no. but he just knew that God said, go. Yeah, well, this is it. You see, Come what did on. God do? Mm. Um, God when he first made the promise to him he yeah. promised that he was going to make his his his, uh, um, his seed like the sand of the seas and like the stars what mm. did he do he showed him the sand of the sea mm. and he showed him the stars and abraham had to use his imagination Absolutely. and think about a posterity mm. that was going to be as numerous as that all mm. when he had not even had a baby exactly he had no chance no chance he, in fact, he questioned God at one point, didn't he? When yeah. he said, oh, well, I only have my servant in yeah. Israel. Is it going to be true? Yeah, yeah. Is, because, is, of, because the time had been passed. Yes. No child yeah. promises, yeah. but nothing, nothing concrete. Nothing. And yet he didn't know how it was going to happen. Was it going to be true? You know, no. because of different things in their custom right. at the time. If he died and he didn't have any children, it would pass to his servant mm. and his servant's posterity. Is it going to be true? I said, God mm. said no. Mm. And then, then his, his wife, Sarah, mm. she, she thought, okay, well, I'm not getting pregnant. Mm. Maybe it's not me. Yeah. Maybe it's going to be through my maid. Yeah. Let's try that route. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, all these questions and things. Yeah. And trying to trying to be God sense. themselves and trying to make, th trying to make sense, sense of things. Because they're, they're saying to themselves, well, how is God going yeah, to Yeah, how, how's it going to happen? Yeah. Time is Time, passing. Yeah. Promises are made. And More he... promises are made. More things are done. Because mm. when he first made the promise, mm. he told them that he was going to give him the land mm. and he was going to make him a great nation. Right. But then when he came back to him about 10 years yeah. later, he said, kings are going to come out yeah. of you. This is going to happen. And then he told Sarah, you're going to be the... Because yeah. she didn't know. No. She didn't know for 24 years. No. Only 24 years, yeah, she yeah. knew that she was actually going to be the mother, yeah. that the, the, the posterity was going to come through her. Yeah. She had no idea yeah. up until that time. But you see, it's I believe it was at this point that God was, was, was developing that relationship with Abraham. Mm. I believe that Abraham was developing his relationship yes, with God. Yes. God needed Abraham to know mm, him yes. and to know with surety mm. that he was a God of his work. Yes. And I believe that during that period, mm. Abraham and God would have been having a conversation. Abraham yes. would have been asking questions. God would have been pouring into him. And saying, well, I've said it to you, Abraham, you know it's going to happen, blah, blah. And, and they would have had that relationship to the point yeah. that that period came mm. when, when the Bible actually reminds us in verse 18 of, of Romans 4. Mm. It said, for Abraham, um, Abraham, human reason for hope being gone, mm. hopes in faith that he should become the father of many nations, yeah. as he had been promised. Mm -hmm. So numberless shall your descendants be. Yeah. And so what I'm saying is, is that he obviously had a change of thought because he would have been struggling in his mind, mm -hmm. as we've known mm -hmm. earlier. Mm -hmm. But here now, he has hope beyond hope. He has yeah. faith He's beyond hope. He's reached the point. Amen. His, his faith is rock that's solid. It. Yeah. Not no, going to shift. Not going to shift. He believes what God said. Yeah. It said he did not weaken in yeah. faith when he considered the utter impotence of his own body mm. okay which was as good as dead because mm. it was about a hundred years old or when he considered the barrenness of sarah's deadened womb come on now now how incredible is that mm. his mindset changed he believed the promises of god he said no belief or distrust made him waver doubtingly question concerning the promise of God knowing mm. listen to that but he grew strong and was empowered by what 
by faith. Yes. Glory to God mm. as he gave praise and glory to God. He was fully satisfied and assured that God was able and mighty to keep his word and to do what he had promised. I want to read the same thing that you said through in the King James That's Version. That's right, but, but you get that though, don't you? you know I get I mean? that, but yeah. there's something about the King James that I like mm. slightly better. Mm. I mean, the, King, the, the Amplified is great, but I just want to show you something. Um, verse 18 in the King James mm. says, Who against hope believed mm. in hope that he might become the father of many nations mm. according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. Mm. And being not weak in faith, he considered not mm. his own body mm. now dead when he was about a hundred years old, mm. neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Mm. Now in the Amplified and in some of the other versions, because mm. I've looked at both, uh, looked at different versions, it says that he considered mm his own body mm. and he considered mm. but the the king james version said he considered not, not sure. now what i get from that which i think is more powerful i think that that particular mm. version that is more powerful because it means that he didn't pay any attention yeah. to that situation yes he knew it was there mm. so he didn't consider it because he disregarded mm. the, the the impossibility of the situation there he was a hundred years old and nothing was happening mm. in that part of his body and nothing was happening with his wife but if he considered it, because sometimes this is, this is where you have to get to with faith. This is what I realised with faith. Mm. What you have to get to is that when the, the impossible situation stands in front of you, mm. you disregard the mm. impossibility. You push it to one side and you look at what God says. And that becomes more real to you than the impossibility mm. of your situation. Amen. And that's very important here. Mm. Because think about that now, uh, as, well, as Pastor Mon was sharing there, in contrast... Mm. Thomas believed when he saw yeah. and he felt. Yeah, that's so he, what that's what convinced him. He was able him. to feel. Yeah, that's what convinced him. And that's that's what can. But Abraham believed the word of God. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, he did not consider. Let's not even think about that. But he wasn't he wasn't struck by his physical sight or physical feeling. He pushed it he to one pushed side. Pushed it to one side. He and, didn't allow it to be an obstacle. And he stepped. Didn't focus on that. And he stepped on the promises. On the promise of, of God. God. The, as verse 21 says, yeah. fully satisfied mm. and assured that God was able and mighty to keep his word mm. and to do what he had promised. Yeah. So the King James uh, version there was key mm. to help us to understand yeah. that he didn't allow... No. That, the, 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 that, that, that situation there was the obstacle it, yeah. it was it was like it the was elephant there. in the room wasn't yeah. it when they talk about the elephant being in the room mm. but he disregarded that that's right you know it's like if you say well you know how can you possibly have mm. a baby because you you know you're you're impotent you're that's an right. old man mm. but that did not stand in his way mm. that obstacle he just disregarded it mm. and said god made me the promise and he focused on that mm. totally took his mind off the impossibilities mm. believing god to be the believe creator in god because you know, because you've got to still think about the fact that in our humanness, we mm. look we look at our human condition. Yes. But God takes us beyond. Yeah. He goes beyond that. You know, he's, yeah. he's saying actually, yeah, it's impossible with man. Yeah. But what's impossible with man? It's possible, it's possible with, God. with God. Yeah. And that's what we need to remember. There's a yeah. big difference in how God does things. Yeah. And how God sees and things. And how God sees things and how we see it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, God sees things as being done before yeah. they're done, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. As far as he just says, it's done, mm. and the situation is still right in front of you. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> it's like the children of Israel. Yeah. When he told the children of Israel, I've given you the land. Mm. He, gave the, he told them, I'll give you the land. The giants are still yeah. there. Yeah. They're still occupying the yeah. territory. But as far as I said, you know, you've got the land. Yeah. I've given you the land. Yeah. The land is yours. Yeah. He promised. Yeah, he, he promised it. Yeah. He sees it. He sees the play, the, the, the mm. situation as completed, mm. and he sees the judge as being out of that, and he sees the children of Israel in it. That's how God works. Mm. By faith, he sees something done. He just says it, and it's done. That's it. And that's what he's trying to train us mm. to do, and us to behave well, in that, that exactly that same way. But that's true because that's that's why when you look at uh, 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 Hebrews eleven one, when it, it says now faith is. Mm. So faith is now. Yeah. So we need to have faith now mm. for what we have not seen. Yeah. And that's what that this is. This is where we get uh, a, a lot of issues because a lot of people still, for many of us, still haven't grabbed a hold of that. Mm. It says now mm. faith is. Yeah. And that's what I love about Abraham. You know, suddenly 
His faith was just it just went sky high. Sky high. Sky high. His belief, it his trust, everything about God, the promises. Yeah. It was like they just knocked into faith. It just yeah, locked. Locked. It just went locked. Oof. So I want to just spend a minute here. Let's mm. look at let's 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 qualify Abraham's faith. Okay. Okay. Now, because we're talking about relying on God mm. and relying on what the Bible says mm. and not what your senses That's tell right. you. All right. Now, throughout his life. Abraham manifested a strong faith in God. Mm -hmm. We've learned that. Yeah. It was easy to let this trust shine forth in hours of triumph. Mm. When he remembered God's wondrous promise to him, mm -hmm. he took comfort from the declaration that God would fulfill his promise in and through his seed. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to the journey now, because yeah. many of us go through these journeys. Mm. But when he grew old, mm. like many of us do, mm. he, and saw that the end of his days was near mm. and that he was still childless, mm. he was tempted to be discouraged. Yeah. Okay? His faith in the promise wavered. How could God now fulfill them? Mm. There would have been those moments yeah. in his life. Those questions those were Those questions asked. were asked and mm. everything else. But God spoke to him mm. so i believe that he would have been wondering but how is this going to happen mm. what is going on here yes. but god spoke to him okay. when we have questions and we present our case before god mm. god will but make god. it known to us yes. what he is saying what we need to do yes. the level of trust that god wants us to have in him mm. enables him to operate hallelujah in such an extraordinary way mm. and so Genesis 15, as we know, shows us after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, mm. saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am your shield, your abundant compensation and compensation, and your reward shall be exceedingly great. Mm. That tells me that they would have been in dialogue. Yes. That tells me that they had spoken before. Mm. That tells me that Abraham or Abraham at the time had many questions. Mm many doubts like many people do let's, let, let's bring it into the into the realm mm. people have doubts yeah. they have concerns yeah. god has made a promise yeah. the promise is not come mm. yet mm. but we then we're questioning now well how is he going to do yeah. it yeah. how is he going to be able to do this this yeah. and this yeah. because what because, because it looks impossible it looks impossible mm. because we're looking at it from our a natural, natural standpoint yeah. but when the bible says now faith is yeah. it's the substance of things hoped for mm. That, that faith is your foundation. Mm. You stand on faith mm. in God, what God has said. Mm. You will see what God has said. Yeah. And that's what that's the key thing here. Mm. So Abraham would have been in dialogue with God. Mm. There would have been some, some wonderful communication that God was having with him. Because mm. Abraham said, Lord God, what can you give me since mm. I am going on from this world childless? And he who shall be the owner of my house, as we spoke about earlier. Mm. All what I'm talking about here is the relationship. Mm. There's a relationship developing here as we've been learning. Mm. And Abraham's faith just I'm telling you, after God had been consistently speaking with him mm. and Abraham began to understand what God was saying, he grabbed a hold of that truth. Mm. And he did not allow that truth to waver no. in his life. And that's what I love about him yeah so in essence abraham believed the lord mm -hmm. and the lord accepted abraham's faith and that faith made him right with, with god, god. Yes. isn't that wonderful it's wonderful i'm telling you pastor Moore, we, we, we've learned much today with, yeah, this, with this teaching and the time has just gone swiftly already yes. my 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 but we bless the name of Praise the lord god. and i think it would be good just to end on a couple of things here just to drop into the spirit of ourselves and obviously of those that are listening yeah. uh, today because mm -hmm. I know that uh, next week we're looking forward to another part of, uh, of our Bible faith teaching and uh, uh, do you want to just talk a little bit about that oh I, I believe it's uh, don't don't lose your confidence oh my yeah so don't I think, lose your confidence yeah yeah it's Ooh. so easy Ooh. to lose your confidence yeah yeah yeah, we're yeah, look yeah. At that. yeah so we're looking forward to see Bible faith is a vast topic. It is. Glory be to God. Well, you, the, the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. faith. So we really need to know. It's a very important yeah. topic. Yes, if God do. expects us to live by faith, we need to learn how. Amen. And so, 
in conclusion here, I just want to just close with a couple of points mm. and then Pastor Mind is going to close with that in prayer, okay? So, let's just close with a couple of points here. Yeah. <laughs> because Abraham, we know that Abraham means exalted father. Mm -hmm. We know that Abraham means the father of a multitude. Mm -hmm. God was preparing Abraham to move from exalted father to the father of a multitude, mm -hmm. all right? And so, number one, as we conclude, first, Abraham must put away fear by trusting fully in the Lord God Almighty. Mm. And what we're saying to the, the people today, what we're saying to you today, is that you need to let go of fear mm. and trust in the Lord God Almighty. Mm. Abraham was able to do it, you are able to do it mm. too. If it was not possible, the word would not tell us that. Amen. Mm. Abraham's defense from any doubt or fear or worry or anxiety or impatience was seeing and acknowledging God mm. as his shield, mm -hmm. which gives hope undergird, undergirded by faith and courage. Mm -hmm. God will undergird your your your, your, uh, your defense. He will he will he will build a wall of defense for you when you just give your doubts, your fears, your worries, your anxieties, your impatience to God mm. and when you acknowledge that he is your shield. Mm. Here is where God undergirds us with faith and courage. Amen. Mm, God is a God of his word. Yes, Amen. Yes. Abraham needed to have uh, before his eyes the certainty of a reward that would bring the fullest joy. Mm. God was reassuring Abraham, I've made a promise to you. You know mm. what? I'm going to keep it. Mm. Can you hold on to what God has said to mm. you. You may not see it with your natural eyes, but we need to look beyond the natural and we say together, now faith mm. is. Praise Amen God. to mm. that. So the quality of being right with God is indescribably precious in the Lord's eyes. Abraham was justified and it was counted righteous on the basis of his faith yeah. amen Hallelujah. so we just want to encourage you with those few points i think it's important that sometimes we just drop a little seed okay yeah. into yeah. into people's lives because abraham's faith he demonstrated it so well mm. but as paul says uh, that 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 we have to study to show ourselves approved, approved unto god mm. and he also tells us that whatever things were written aforetime were written for our for learning, our learning. Mm. I pray that the Lord will continue to speak through you and through us, mm -hmm. that we can continue to grow just like you continue to grow. Amen. Mm -hmm. We can learn a lot from the characters of Scripture. Mm -hmm. But I love Abraham so much mm -hmm. because he learned. He learned through his relationship with God. He drew from the source of mm -hmm. God's power. He understood that God had a plan and purpose mm -hmm. for his life and the life of his family. Mm -hmm. And he grabbed a hold of that. May you grab a hold of that word today amen. amen bible faith don't leave home without it amen <laughs> praise the lord pass the morning just pray oh father we're so grateful to you for what we've been able to learn today yes learning about the faith of faithful abraham mm. lord we know he did go through many challenges many yes. of us do yes but father as time went on rather than his faith dying out as mm. it does for some people over time if they've been waiting for a promise there are some people that would just give up and, and just forget about it. His faith became more and more secure yes. to the point that it was rock solid. And mm. he believed fervently yes. that he was going to get what you said. Yes. And even though the situation was absolutely impossible, mm. the fact that you said it, he believed in you and he knew that you would never break his word. And so therefore nothing would deter him from believing that you were going to fulfill your promises to him. Mm. I pray God that you will help us to learn from faithful Abraham, that we too will develop our faith. We will learn to live by faith because that's what you expect us to do. And I pray God that you will help us to learn the lessons that Abraham learned and that we will be able to receive the promises yes. that you have given to us and have the joy that Abraham had once he had his baby in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, we've come to the end of the program, and uh, we please do stay um, on on the program so that you can pick up information at the end of this broadcast. Amen. That you're able to make <coughs> contact with us. Do share with us. 
Praying that the word has encouraged you, amen. All the email details will be at the end of this broadcast. So please do share with us. Let us know how you're getting on. Even if you want to share a thought with us, do send it to us that we can use it in future broadcasts. We also encourage you to share <coughs> this broadcast with anyone that you feel may benefit. And uh, please do, do, do like and subscribe to our YouTube page so that you can be notified of any teachings uh, that are on there as well. We've got a number of teachings on on our BTM Life Light uh, YouTube page, so please do subscribe as well. And uh, you know what? We look forward to seeing you next time on In Conversation with myself, Pastor Colin, and my darling wife, Pastor Maureen. Amen. And uh, God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face to shine upon you and keep you in perfect peace. So until next time, stay, stay blessed, blessed. Stay, stay focused, focused and, and stay, stay safe. safe. Bye for now. Bye for now. And I want to tell you something. Thank you for watching. God bless Amen. you. Amen. God bless you. Amen.